Good morning, guys. It is December 2nd. I am going to pick up my load. They said it should be ready by the 10 o'clock central time. I'm like two miles away. It's 9.14. I'm going to roll in a little bit early. Um, This load's going to be late. Uh, they're making me do a BPM on the 4th, even though this drops off at 5 on the 5th in the morning. Uh, Tuesday, I had to pick up a load in Indian Town, Florida. Not Tuesday, I think Monday morning. So pretty much Monday morning, I had to be in Vero Beach and they're making me stop at Jacksonville. And then at four o'clock the day before. So I have to go there and then I have to drop off a load at Jacksonville again on the same day. I have to make the same day delivery, but they want me to stop to go get BPM done on the truck. Uh, and it's on the four, the four o'clock appointment. So pretty much I'm screwed. Um, on this uh on this load there's no way that i'm going to be able to make it down there in time i can but they're stopping me and i'm not even getting a reset so uh i'm not happy about it because it's, it's dumb i was you guys saw i was stopped in texas for like three four days the bpm was scheduled could have been done then but they were fixing my truck which i understand but overall it is what it is and um you know you can't control those kind of things so it's already going into the minute um we'll go ahead on out mate and uh go to the go pick up this product and uh it's pretty much gonna be driving for the next two days all right guys and we are off it's finally time to get out of nebraska this guy is driving on my left and i can't see them and they got upset So we are here. Check this out. Is there any room to uh, park? No. Hopefully this is not where I have to dock. All right. So it's actually not here, thank God, because this was just super duper tight. Uh, you really need to be a yard jockey to do that. It's on the back of the building. Dock too. So let's go. I got 50 hours, not getting a reset, and I think this is like a 30 hour drive. So let's see how it goes. Chat like 20 hours, and it, it sucks. Like, the way they scheduled me out really sucks next week. And it's always been difficult for me to actually get my resets. Like, I literally have to pick up my loads hours ahead. And it shouldn't be that way because they told me like, yeah, when I first started, all you have to do is this, 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 and everything should be like copacetic, should be okay. And it's like pulling teeth now. And this is the first time where I literally was like, there's nothing I can do to, act to actually make this load. And I hate it because I actually really pride myself on doing a good job and they just make it impossible for me to get it done so it is what it is where is this dock she says on the back side that dude has his uh i wish you could see it but he has his uh ford f-150 out there and it's like hanging on the end and literally like okay that's, that's dock too it's literally hanging on the end and you're like I almost hit the back of it because it's just so far out. So Doc 2 is right over here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in. I'm going to hit it with the loop-de-loop. -loop. This is a long segment. It's like two minutes long already. Ugh. Hit it with the loop-de-loop. 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 -loop. Yeah, I'm like a five-year-old saying so and, uh, and there's my dock right there. So, uh. I got to go all the way out here.
that's one good out. And it's overturned a little bit. What I'm gonna do is pull up. What is long? It's like three, three minutes already. I might chop this video up. Ugh. Put it in place. Move my tandems. All right, so I'm pretty much. Where I need to be. And then I'll go pull up. Pretty much, I'm docked. But I. Uh, open up my doors all right so we're loaded <clears throat> getting out of here uh there's no way stations near here in mccook it's like literally the closest one's like 90 miles away so we're gonna be heading on out i'm about forty thousand pounds Just going slow because I don't want to. All right, so I'm about like 40,000 pounds. Uh, just going a little bit slower here because I don't want to. Uh, well, I was about to say, put too much stress on the tires. So we're going to make this left. We're going in straight down 83, then junction, I think, to 23. So pretty much it's all back roads for the next two and a half hours. Then I'm gonna hit uh, like a loves because there's literally no scale houses around here. Middle of nowhere, Kansas. I mean, uh, Nebraska, but we are going to Kansas. So, it's all road from here. But look how open these roads are. We're like 27, 20 something miles away from Kansas. And I mean, like I said, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Look at this. To my fuel stop i fueled up and everything and i still haven't ran across the scale and i'm not gonna run across one until like 100 something miles from now there's nothing in this part of kansas nothing it's just desert and and cows Tennessee, I'll probably be like three hours away from uh, Jacksonville. I gotta stop there, so probably somewhere in Georgia. But overall, um, <laughs> and I'll just go walk in and uh, call it a night. And tomorrow will be a new day. <laughs> 